How's it going, everybody? This is Bart Bigger Spaceball, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with my Marlins account with a Diamond Team Select Pack. We're going to be going better this time. Hopefully pull Miguel Cabrera, D. Gordon, Marcelo Zuna, somebody like that that can make our lineup immediately so we can use some skill changes. So I'm going to start off with this free daily pack. Still don't think I managed to pull a diamond across any of my accounts, but I mean, <laughs> it looks like that's not going to change today. Vince Velasquez, and so yeah, let's get started with these packs. So now that school has started up for me, really haven't been able to play as much or <laughs> farm really any this past week, so these packs have just mostly been from the current event. So that's why I have a ton of premiums, not a whole lot of silvers. Don't think we see anybody there that can help us. I'm also going to be taking a break from my Royals account. It's just for a little while. I mean, it's really hard to keep up with three accounts at once. So pull out an Austin Brace. So I'm editing the video right now, and I have no idea what happened to this clip here. I believe my screen recorder just cut out and I didn't even realize Really not sure what happened, but I didn't pull anything too special from the packs I opened. I think it was just a couple premiums, so sorry to everybody about that. This is Zach Britton. He's really been performing well for me, so I can't complain about that. Might as well save that, Bryce, just because. Oh, actually, I don't know. Why not throw him in? Not too worried about him at the moment. I don't believe he has any cards above a 63 base, so really not a whole lot of harm in throwing him in there. I have a lot of Miami early pitchers around that OVR, so it wouldn't be a significant improvement to my team as we special train Britain to level 4 there, special training, so definitely happy with that. And yeah, let's open up the, uh, I think, first 20 premium packs is how much room we have. Because yes, 155 minus 135 is 20. I mean, my brain should be starting to get back into shape for school, so. Two golds there out of 10. Can't complain. And we get a vintage, though. Mike Hampton. 72 base. The Astros just have just some really nice vintage cards. You got that Mike's Cat, which is 76 base, I believe, and really can't complain about a vintage pull there. So we can throw that into a combo during double mileage. I don't think I see anything there either, so let's, yeah, special train some more. Go in the same way we did last time. I mean, I really doubt we'd get him to level 5 today, but... Why not try and see how we do? I mean, I guess I'll save that Wharton Grin. I think he has 65 base or 64 base. So not much of an improvement compared to the... Um, nope, don't want to throw the Hampton in to that Austin Bryce I just pulled. But still better than nothing. So I'm going to quickly... Let's have to throw in one other card here. I'm going to throw in this. Morrison I just unlocked just to get us down to an even 20 cards. Don't think we're going to finish now, but should be finished after one more round. It's definitely a little bit annoying that Come 2 allows you to special train away your vintages. I mean, at least they save you from special training away your primes, but still pretty weak. 10 premium packs there. But hey, maybe these last five have something that can help us. Alright, two golds out of five. Very solid there. Got a Zach Britton. Unfortunately, mine's already trained. Or upgraded up to level 20, so not of any use to us. But yeah, let's throw in these two gold player packs. Maybe see something out of these. Nope. But actually, I said nope pretty early there, but... I mean, was I expecting a diamond or something? Yeah, let's finish off this round here with the 
last season ultimate pack gold out of this so C Hill that is Cam Hill did not know about him not sure how long he's been around for but 26 maybe a few years apologies to the Indians fans and ultimate team select pack why not I'm not sure I've ever pulled a diamond out of one of these but hey Maybe today's the day, and it doesn't look like it is, but upgrade material would be nice. And it's Enrique Hernandez, also known as Kike, but 58 base. This is one Miami card, and that's not going to be of any use to us, so not too upset about that, but at least that means we can get into some combos. So let's sort by the lowest grade. Actually, I do have silvers. Getting a little ahead of myself there. It actually does look like you can finish the rest of our packs. So, a little bit of a mental lapse for me there, but... They happen from time to time. Can't do a whole lot about it. So, that's pretty funny. I didn't even... Not even a thought in the world that I had silvers left, but... I mean, hey, get into those ultimate packs now so see how we do one question i have for any of you guys watching do you like to just lock um, cards of players that have retired or been removed from the game i mean i occasionally do that with some team players even if they're lower grades but just something i was interested in play nick vincent 67 base so very solid relief pitcher and um, Mess is a solid standalone skill. And maybe stability could be good based on the situation. And so, yeah, let's hop into combos for the second time. I think I'm doing it right now. It looks like I am. And so, yeah, let's hop into these. <laughs> oh, we do have a trout. That was a laugh right there that started to turn into a cough, but... I think I survived. Get McCutcheon. Good player in there. Good player in real life, but I'm not the diamond we wanted. And we have Dylan Bundy, who's just tearing up this year. Shout out to one of my club mates who runs an Angels team. Has a live card in with just killer skills. We get the, I believe that's Jordan Schaefer. Quickly check that. 60 base. Justin Schaefer. I wonder if there's any relation relation to Jordan Schaefer maybe he was an SCH that's probably what I was thinking of but hey ace sharpshooter controller it's not the worst skill set in the world and so yeah let's look to throw somebody in one of these uh, David Bodie's on the lower side no VR so see if he can bring us back anything helpful got Robbie Canal. Jose Iglesias. Keep messing when I'm trying to tap to see their bases, but too bad we get a Kevin Gosman. And yeah, throw in one more diamond ball at it, I guess. I get that Chris Davis is a season reward a while back, but his power is too ridiculous for me to combo away. So, oh, that's not a good looking shuffle there. Robinson Trinas. Right there. And, oh, we actually do pull him. Very shocked there. 61 base. All level 3 skills. Still not sure what the jury is on. Barrel, to, barrel it up. I think it's okay. But, yeah. So it looks like we can finally get into our diamond team select pack now so yeah one more note on Chirinos the Mets recently acquired him if you guys don't know I'm a pretty big Mets fan Mets acquired him and Todd Frazier from the Rangers in their postseason push I guess you want to call it wonder if the Mets this year are the first team to have two guys with the first name Robinson play for them at the same time so something to think about gonna go Marlins here and going to go better and brace myself for disappointment, which seems inevitable at this point. But hey, I mean, maybe somebody here 
See who we get. Awesome. <laughs> we have Dean Gordon. He's got uh, wonderful hitting stats. Those are just awesome, but maybe with the solid skill set, he could be useful. So I'm going to... Pretty sure I'm going to use skill changes on him, but I'm going to cut quick and think about it. Check my Marlins spreadsheet to see if he has any better years out there that I could potentially hold out for. And so after checking my spreadsheet, this is a very solid Dean Gordon. Funny enough, it's his best year. I mean, Cardinal has slightly better hitting stats, but with the 78 and 77 speed and field on his base card, I mean, either way, his card's not going to have the best hitting stats, but I guess he's the best Marlins second baseman. Sterling Castro has an okay card, but I mean, Dean Gordon, with, even with his speed, I guess he could be a stolen base guy for me in league mode and help me get those gift boxes and uh, end of the uh, season awards. So, yeah, definitely going to be skill changing him. 85 skill change tickets to use. <laughs> really don't want to use more than 20, maybe 30. I don't know, I kind of like holding on to him. Makes me feel like my hard work is worth it. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, let's see, maybe we can get him up to 20. Looking a little bit bleak at this point, but, I mean, still a lot of decorns left. It's probably, I don't know, a year plus of decorns. So, level 16 now? Alright. See how close we can get. The Gordon with the center field eligibility there, but fortunately it's him with the Mariners, so we do get this D Gordon up to 18. D Gordon is a shortstop with the Dodgers. No luck there. So we have, what, three golds? I don't know. Two left. Either way, it's not a big deal, but it'd be pretty, pretty funny if I didn't get him to 20. And thankfully, we get D Gordon at 20, so that's just amazing. So now is the time for skill changes. See how we do. Skill changes. I don't know, they're fun to watch other people do, but not as fun if you're doing them yourself. So Legend Full Swing Hitter isn't terrible, but in order for this Gordon to make my lineup, I really need something a lot better. So Slugger Instinct, solid skill. I mean, I guess Batting Machine would be a good skill for Gordon. From what I've heard, that increases batting average. And he's going to need to... Be able to get a log hit. Oh, wow, a lot of hits. And prediction, Slugger Instinct, Master Base Thief. That's a really solid skill set. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to keep. But if I do not, you guys will see me do some more skill changes. This is definitely the perfect skill for Gordon. Or a very solid skill set for Gordon at that. Prediction, Slugger Instinct. Should help him out offensively. And then Master Base Thief. It's a good boost. That he can provide to the top of my line of hitters as the ninth or eighth hitter, wherever he will end up being. And yeah, hopefully that can counter cleaning up your mess to a certain extent. And yeah, as you guys saw, just train up to level 20. Definitely a solid enough train for now. I don't know, maybe in the future I'll try to get contact and speed with my top two just to test something out. Not sure how that works, but how that would affect his performance but definitely something i'll try out in the future right in the chat real quick i guess and he's definitely a big upgrade over my mac muncie i mean although muncie's definitely better hitting stats gordon's got better skills and he's also a team player so at the end of the day that's really what it comes down to but it looks like this is going to be it for me for this video i'd like to thank everybody for watching Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next video.